Hello, my name is Andrew Gorman. I'm a hydrotech at the Indianapolis USGS Water Science Center. I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about the general process of documenting an estimated discharge measurement in SWAMI. The discharge measurement page can be found on the site visit task page in SWAMI. This is the discharge measurement page. Once here, select the new channel button to begin the process of entering an estimated discharge. Selecting new channel opens the channel information page. Begin by entering a channel name. Since this is an estimated discharge measurement, select Estimated from the QM Method drop-down menu. Selecting Estimated will, will result in the deployment method defaulting to Other. The Velocity Method drop-down menu offers two options, Estimated or Unspecified. If a velocity was measured to derive the estimated discharge, select Unspecified. Otherwise, select Estimated. Documenting how the estimate was made must be done in the measurement summary remarks and will be covered a little later. Finally, enter the estimated discharge. Selecting Done will open the channel summary page where measurement location, channel conditions, and velocity characteristics are documented. The drop-down menus on these pages facilitate documenting this information. Selecting Done will return to the Discharge Measurement page where another channel can be added to the measurement, or if done, the gauge height information can be entered to compare the estimated discharge to the rated discharge. If another channel is added, follow the appropriate steps for that channel's method. For example, you may make an ADCP measurement that also has a small amount of flow that can't be measured. The unmeasured can be entered as an estimated channel and the ADCP as another channel. In this case, we do not have any more channels. The estimated discharge plots 4.6% from the base rating and the same from the shifted queue. Selecting Done will open the measurement summary page. Start by entering a measurement number. If the current measurement number is unknown, select the auto sequence and the measurement will be assigned a number in site visit. Next, rate the measurement, then note whether the measurement was made under base flow conditions. Finally, fill out the gauge height information and populate the start and end time of the measurement. Any notes you may want to document about the measurement, such as how the velocity was measured, can be entered in the remarks field. Selecting Done will open the Discharge Measurement page where another discharge measurement can be added. If finished, Selecting Done will return to the Site Visit task page. If you have any questions on the process of documenting an estimated discharge measurement in SWAMI, please contact the SWAMI Help Group at the email address shown or visit the FCIS webpage at the address shown.